like to call to order the uh, utility service board for the city of Lawrence on this the 22nd day of October 2019. All members of the uh, board are present, so we do have a quorum. Uh, the minutes were sent to you from the last meeting on October 8 by uh, email. Uh, I would entertain a motion that the minutes be approved. So moved. Second. And moved and seconded. Uh, any additions or corrections to the minutes? If not, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay, minutes are uh, approved. Payment of claims. The claims were sent to you for review by email. I would entertain a motion that we approve the payment of the claims. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion regarding any of the claims? If not, all those in favor of payment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay, that is unanimously approved. Report of our utility superintendent. Good evening. Good evening. So uh, tonight, um, I hope you all remember we have our we have our tour after the meeting, so we're ready for that. And uh, we've got just a couple of items uh, that we want to get approved um, under new business, um, and I'll just go over those briefly. Number one is amendment number one to the master services agreement that's uh, presently in place with uh, Wessler Engineering. This is for our phase two water system improvements project. And so the amendment adds additional design fees, construction admin, and construction inspection fees based on uh, some additional scope that we've added to the project. Uh, as we've gone through our plan review, uh, we're finding things that we wanted to make sure got incorporated into the project. And uh, rather than getting the project started and then saying, oh, wait a minute, yeah, we need, you know, we're trying to catch everything up front. so. At any rate, um, uh, and, and if there's, if you have any more detailed uh, questions, uh, we've got uh, Dylan is in attendance tonight, and he can go over that in detail. The other one um, is the approval of a uh, a professional services agreement with American Structure Point. If you recall, recently we we had uh, had to get our five year update done for our wellhead uh, protection plan. And so this uh, contract here, uh, I believe it was like $8,500. Um, at any rate, that, that's, that's spread out over the course of the five years until the next uh, update is due. But in the intervening period, we have several things that we need to do compliance-wise, such as uh, tabletop exercises, coordinating with uh, other local emergency planning agencies and and other wellhead protection related stuff. So we wanna make use of their services to get those things done with their experience, contacts and, and knowledge and stuff. They, I think they can do that a lot more effectively and efficiently than we can. And then the last one, uh, the ADS thing, we're, we're pulling that one off and that I'm gonna, we're, we're not gonna, we'll pick that back up sometime in the spring of 2020. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Um, I had a couple of questions, and I guess Dylan, he might be able to best answer them. Sure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> on this increase uh, for Wessler, mm -hmm. the amount of uh, 185, 185500 I started to read that, and I was glad to see what I what was written, and it was saying that this extra fee was being done to um, avoid any possible increases later on. The, the extra time spent by Wessler was to make sure that uh, we didn't get into the project, and then we had to have an additional funding approved while the project was being worked on. Is that correct? Is that basically what the objective is of the additional fees? 
Yeah, that's correct. Um, we are about 60% through the design on the facilities at Fort Harrison and Indian Lake and Whitening Ridge Booster Station. <clears throat> As we progress through that design process to get to 60%, there have been things that were not initially scoped and planned that have come to light and decided that we really need to incorporate these things and fix these now and not leave them out of the project. So there's an additional scope, design scope that was not anticipated in the first contract that it's appropriate based on our review meetings to include now. So we are adding the design fee to be able to capture and be able to develop that information in this project. Does that help answer your question? That helps, but the amount I was thinking, uh, it does say here in the report that even taking those extra measures is not going to guarantee that there won't be some change orders put in because you're not, I mean, you, you can't be 100%, which I, I think is a good statement to make. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully, uh, if we do have a change order, uh, it'll justify the 185000 extra that we're paying up front. If that is the, the idea. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So, uh, and, and we've talked uh, in past months about change orders. We've had change orders on the past projects. So we're in the design phase now. When this goes to construction, sometimes unforeseen things are encountered, especially when we're digging. Yes, I understand. Um, and that's, that's where having a t contingency estimate in our construction estimate now that you use for your budgeting allows for you to be able to fund those change orders as they come up during construction. So we make sure we have basically a buffer in our cost estimates for the construction piece that we can then use as unforeseen things come up on down the road. Okay, that's what I was trying to understand, the buffer part, because that's how it was reading that it was done as a buffer just to uh, alleviate any change orders being issued after the project begins. Am I right? These are for our fees. Yes. So this is just the design. Then we're going to bid the project and we'll open up the envelopes and we'll get the true numbers from the contractors. Then they'll start work. They'll have about 15 months of construction. Okay. If things come up during that 15 month construction process that warrant a cost change to them, you know, we, we, we uh, dig up a valve that we thought worked, but it doesn't work. We need to replace it while we have it dug up or those types of things. We would do a change order at that time. That's not included in this. I understand. This is just for engineering fees. Okay. So I guess bottom line is we're just hoping that this extra work that we did up front would, would avoid that from possibly happening. And if it does happen, we would hope that the price would not exceed the extra monies that we paid to Wessler to avoid just like something like that happening. Correct. Yep. Okay. 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 Dylan, do you know what the estimated construction costs of the additional items are? Yeah, it's one point six million. Oh, one point six million. Yeah. What's the overall project cost then? We're over. We're about eight point six million now on that project. Okay. Um, off the top of my head, I think and that's the number. That's all within well within the uh, mm. uh, SRF monies that we've got allocated. My un my current understanding is that w within the phase two bonding, yes. Yeah. The phase two bonding, but we will not pursue SRF right. for the phase two okay. because of the uh, really change in the financial condition and the bond rating of, that the city has now. We don't, we're not solely reliant on SRF to be able to, to get money for funding. Okay. Okay. It works. Okay. Thank you. I wonder if Jason has an opinion. Anything further? No, uh, he just, uh, there was one other line in here that uh, I thought was kind of interesting, but I think Dylan answered it when he, when he used the word buffer. Uh, it makes mention of a galvanized service line. They're saying that if they get into the project and uh, they run into one that is faulty, <clears throat> they're just going to go ahead and replace it without having to uh, come back before us asking for a change order, basically. Um, can I clarify that? It, it might get in the weeds a little bit. Excuse me? Can I clarify that? It sure, might get sure. into the weeds a little bit, but uh, initially we talked about doing a system-wide galvanized service replacement mm -hmm.
program funded through SRF. Because we're not going through funding with SRF, those galvanized service replacements will take place on a per location basis as the service lines are replaced. So instead of doing it all at once, the utility will uh, encounter those and, and address them on a one by one basis. So we are actually deleting that project from the scope. So when we say not replace it with not used, we are taking that out of this contract. So there, so not only did we find things that we wanted to add to this project, we also found things that either could be done uh, probably more efficiently by the utility and we're taking them out of the bid project or we're pushing them into later years uh, because the need wasn't so high. For, so for example, the 52nd Street tank was originally part of this contract. The condition of that tank allows us to push that rehab work out into 2022 we don't have to do it now. So we're going to use, instead use that money to do things that need to be done at the plant more immediately. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm finished business. I, I, I do have uh, one more thing that we'll include as part of the report, but I'll, I'll have uh, Jason come up and and talk basically about our uh, sewer bond refinancing that was just uh, completed. Good evening. I'll be quick. I just wanted to mention that we did, um, I think within the last two weeks, we closed on a, a smaller sewer bond refunding. It was part of a pooled um, financing through the Indiana Bond Bank. So Lawrence was among, I think, four other communities that was a comprised a bigger bond issue. Our portion of that was a little over two and a half million. Um, those bonds had been outstanding since uh, there were two small series. One was outstanding you know, since 2007 and the other 2009, but we refunded those. Again, a little north of two and a half million, and we saved uh, right around eight hundred thousand um, by doing that. We also structured the savings so that we'll um, experience the savings. I call it upfront. Upfront really means over the first three years. So there'll be eight hundred thousand more dollars at the sewer utility over the next three years that we can then put into more capital projects. So that closed about two weeks ago, and um, it was a nice windfall for the sewer utility. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. I just hope people understand a little bit how, how, how much you've done to improve the financial situation of this utility. You, the mayor, and everybody. I mean, the financial situation of this utility is remarkably different than it was when, when uh, uh, the mayor started. Well, thank you for that. It definitely has been a collective team effort amongst all of Scott and his team, the mayor, and obviously you guys as well. And so I would argue that I think at least from the water side, it's the strongest probably in its history right now. So and good, more good things to come. As a suggestion, because I think what you said is huge in terms of uh, our financial position, we put that in a dashboard of sorts to kind of celebrate that on the website so that users can see quickly, tell that story. Like I was enjoying this chart, for example. Sure. It's real easy and you can see the information well. Is it possible to do that? Uh, it will be, yes. I know um, we, I think it was two years ago we did, and then we didn't do it last year, but we did kind of a year-end summary mm -hmm. um, for the utility, but that's certainly something that we can um, put together. And I think that's a great idea because we do need to make sure people are aware of kind of not only where we were, but where we are now and where we will be. Yes. Yep. Okay, great. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, new business. I entertain a motion that we approve uh, amendment number one to the master services agreement with Wessler Engineering for the phase two water system improvements. I move we approve that amendment. Is moved? Is there a second? Move we approve it. Second. Removed moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion regarding that matter? Not. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 
Opposed, nay. That is approved. Uh, on our agenda, uh, item number two, approval of sewage flow meter project with ADS Environmental Services has been removed from the agenda. So we move to item number three, approval of a professional service agreement with American Structure Point for ongoing wellhead protection comply compliance requirements. I would entertain a motion that we approve that. So moved. And moved. Is there a second? Second. And moved and seconded. Any discussion? Any All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay, that is unanimously approved. We do not have any account adjustments on the schedule for this evening, and we do not have any remonstration or rate payer, payer dispute regarding disconnect notices, and I do not see any citizens for citizens' comments. So I would entertain a motion we adjourn. That's so move. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay. We are adjourned, and we will adjourn to the tour of the... Richard.